Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the action map. So the action map is really just a couple of examples on how you could approach action oriented items. The idea of this map is not to give you high polished assets, but examples on how we would approach those tasks. Here you can see I'm using the gun to shoot. We have a simple shooting mechanism. Everything is lurping into the right position. And we have some very simple logic for for giving you points if you shoot the targets. Here you can see the flashlight. The flashlight is an example of how you can trigger a light on and off. So very basic here. This is our vision. It's just using a post-process material. And you can also snap it to your face and look around. And in there you can basically define every post-process material you want to. We have integrated some examples and you can switch between them if you press the trigger. And in this example, you can also see that I did a very poor job laying out the UVs of the smartwatch here. So let's have a look at the bow. And also here, this is basically using the same component we use for draws and the snapping is our basic anchor system. But this system is so flexible, you can even create a bow out of it. It would definitely need some polishing if you want to create a bow game. But for an example, it should give you a good starting point here. Let's continue with one of our favorites. You may already know this one from our multi-user test. It's the handgun. Basically, it's, it's, it's a gun and it's shooting hands. But with physics, I like it. Just another example, of course, what you can create with it. Here on the right, you can also see we have some anchors on the character. And we can snap them into the holster. You can grab them again and shoot. We have one on the left and one on the right side. And you can also attach different things like, like swords or shields there if you want to. So I'm going to show you this example. So just grab both guns, our head here. So the cigarette is also a very simple example. You can grab it, it will latch into the position. You can also turn it on and off with the trigger. So a very simple interface in there. We can snap it to our mouth. And this is just using our basic anchor system here. And of course we turn it off after before putting it down. You know, safety reasons. And now we are going to slice some of the cubes. And here you can see that we can attach the very same, we can use the very same anchor to snap to the same position like the gun previously. And yeah, the, the slicing is also super, super simple here. And last but not least, we have integrated a basic climbing system. You can grab those anchors here and really pull yourself up. And the cool thing with version 3 is we have now implemented the character as a base pawn. So this way if you let go, you can now really fall down and apply the gravity. So this is a really nice addition. So thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next showcase.